It is, it is actually possible, you know, because, uh, like for instance, um, the basic commodity pricing today, the variations and fluctuations that we are facing, I mean, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's a single point decision, you know, I mean, it, it, uh, it, it totally depends on demand and supply. And unfortunately, we do not have a, a product pricing or an MRP or something like that to any of the base products. You know, uh, it, is, it is totally dependent upon uh, what is available and what's not available. Today, if a product is available, um, for instance, like tomatoes, we've seen some time back that tomatoes, onions, all went skyrocketing high, which is eventually the case today. But then what happens is at some point of time, people, when, the, when it comes to onions, like we've all seen it, people uh, had uh, held on to it without the supplies coming out so that they can get more rates and all these. So if there could be a system in place to prevent all these things, I mean, we've seen tons and tons of tomatoes being thrown out, you know, because it was held for getting a higher price. So all these kind of small factors, if they are streamlined, if they are put into place, you know, to get a product uh, throughout, I mean, for instance, like petrol pricing and all this, there are certain uh, things which are into it in manipulating the cost which goes into it. So if there is some kind of a standardization which is put into this, eventually, yes, we would be able to manage cost at uh, even restaurants which are serving outside. I mean, they would be able to bring in a meal or a factor, a value meal or something, which would be able to cater to everybody. You know, we as such, we are trying to bring in a central kitchen kind of format, which would basically be able to cater to uh, a basic meal variant uh, hygienically across the city. We are working on something based on that, so let's see how it goes. You know.